so I'm sure this is different for everybody. But for me, the hardest part about clinical year wasn't the endless studying or the pressure to know lots and lots of things. What the Iraq needs is more things. It was not having a place to call home for a whole year. Not being in the same place for a whole year. Now I'm gonna get a little psychological, maybe a little bit philosophical, but you're watching one of my videos, so you know this happens sometimes. According to Thais Gibson, who's an absolutely brilliant woman and the founder of the Personal Development School, which I can't say enough good things about, according to her and also Tony Robbins, we struggle in life, we feel pain and we feel difficulty when our personality needs are not met. And we all have the same six personality needs, love and connection, certainty, uncertainty, contribution, significance, and growth. But we all have unique personalities, so we need these things in different ways and in different amounts. For me, certainty is my biggest personality need. Things that make me feel safe, secure, comfortable, they make me really happy and content. So just as an example for me personally, when I don't know where my next paycheck is coming from, or if I don't know where I'm sleeping tonight, I get anxious and really motivated to solve the problem and make a plan. Like one time I ended up without a job because I quit my scribe job to go work somewhere better, but the new place ended up restructuring or something like that and they weren't able to hire me anymore. And of course they told me last minute after I had already quit the scribe job, so I was out of luck, I was without a job. I hardcore panicked and spent all day and night sending out resumes, applying to jobs online, calling doctor's offices, just looking for a job because I just couldn't bear the thought of not having a paycheck for like five minutes. And because I called and applied to so many different places, I ended up getting a medical assistant job within like two days, which was good, but those two days were tough. So the point is, I don't do well with too much uncertainty. And for me, having to pack up all my things, load up the RAV4, rent a trailer, and then go move into a new place every five weeks during clinical year has been really tough. Now, thankfully, most of my rotations have been here in Syracuse, but they were pretty sporadic. So like I would have one in Syracuse and then I'd have one in like Utica, which is an hour and a half away. And I ended up staying in Utica instead of living in Syracuse and doing like an hour and a half commute, which was just too much. But even though a lot of my rotations were in the same place, that was still uncertain until about two to three weeks before the rotation would start. So I wouldn't be able to make a concrete plan and rent one place for a long time. So I still ended up moving because I just didn't know for sure where I was gonna be and just all the moving, the packing, the unpacking, living in different houses, living in different areas, living with different people, in addition to studying tons of information, getting used to different work schedules, different office environments, meeting new people at work, all that kind of stuff was just a lot of change and that was something that was pretty tough on me. And I know this now, settling into the house that I just rented, which is this house, and this is the house that I rented for my last rotation, but, because I'm taking a job here in Syracuse after this rotation is over, once I graduate from PA school, what I ended up doing is I actually signed a year long lease for this place because I'll be here for the foreseeable future minus some time in September and October when I'll be traveling. So I bought a bed, I bought a dresser, I bought a freaking comforter. I actually picked out like some color themes and decorations and like how I actually want my life to be. And I was just laying there this morning feeling just unbelievably content and happy and that's where the motivation for this video came from. Sometimes you don't realize how hard some things are for you until the struggle is over and you've passed it and you've surpassed it and then you're looking back and you have something to compare it to. And so now, knowing that I'll be living here for at least the next year, I have my own room with my own furniture and a garage, I've got a regular gym, I've got a regular local coffee shop, and I can actually make some like friends and connections and put down roots which is just an awesome, awesome feeling, and it's made me realize how hard this last year has actually been for me. Now, some people who love traveling, love meeting new people, and that just really drives them and energizes them, they might really like this aspect of clinical year. This might be a positive thing for those people. I'm just sharing my experience as someone who really prefers stability. Now, I do love novelty, I do love traveling and having new experiences, meeting new people, but over the last 10 years, I've just been in so many new settings, new cities, new jobs, meeting so many new people, doing so many new things in college and then in the Navy and then post -bac, and then working and then PA school that I'm just kind of done. And like I said in my last video where I told you about the new job I got, I'm just really stoked to finally have some stability for the first time in my life in a long time. And I'm just super grateful and happy that it's finally here, or at least it's coming soon. So, all right, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for emailing me all your amazing stories. 
If you're a BA student, medical student, nursing student, or even like an undergrad or any other kind of student, comment below, let me know what the hardest part of your training is. Is it the academics? Is it being away from home for the first time? What is it? I'd love to know. See you in the next video.